Hello, everyone. Welcome to Fine Art of Cooking. I'm Marie. I'm so glad you could tune in today. In this video, we'll be making these delicious Japanese cheesecakes. When you're asked to describe the texture of cheesecake, words such as dense and solid come to mind, right? Well, if you've tried Japanese cheesecake, you know it's quite different. It has the tangy, creamy flavor of cheesecake, but with the moist, fluffy texture of a souffle. If you love the taste of cheesecake, but wish it weren't so dense, you definitely like the Japanese version. To make it, we'll prepare a cream cheese base mixture and a meringue. Then combine the two to form our cake batter. The ingredient list includes cream cheese, butter, eggs, lemon, vanilla bean paste, salt, all-purpose flour, milk, sugar, cornstarch, and cream of tartar. Let's begin by separating the egg whites from the yolks. Then set them aside for the time being. Grate about a teaspoon of lemon zest and squeeze two teaspoons of lemon juice. The lemon really elevates the taste of this cake, so be sure to include it. Put the room temperature cream cheese and butter into a mixing bowl. Shift in the all-purpose flour and cornstarch. Add the egg yolks, sugar, salt, vanilla bean paste, lemon flavoring, and milk. Stir to combine them and then mix with an electric mixer until it's smooth and without lumps. It takes about two minutes. Set it aside while we prepare the meringue. Mix the egg whites with an electric mixer for one minute or until it reaches the soft peak state. You can confirm by shaking the bitter. See the egg white wobbles? That's what we call soft peaks. Now add the cream of tartar and sugar. Beat for two more minutes until the sugar has dissolved and it reaches the stiff peak state. Combine this with the cream cheese base mixture. We'll fold in one third at a time. Using a spatula, slide down from the center, then turn it up over the top. Keep repeating this motion until all the meringue is incorporated. When it's done, there shouldn't be any visible white streaks in the batter. This recipe is for either an 8x3 inch or two 6x3 inch round cake pans. I'm using the smaller size, so I use two. Pour the batter in and divide it evenly. To avoid having egg pockets in our finished cakes, we need to release bubbles that may have been trapped in the batter. Let's tap the cake pan on the countertop a few times to help bubbles rise to the top. I tapped as many as 10 times each. We'll steam bake our cakes. The steam keeps the oven moist so they will bake more evenly and also be less likely to split on top. Put racks in a rim baking sheet and put the pans on them. Then fill the baking sheet with hot water to just below the racks. Be careful when you carry the sheet with hot water in it. You may even want to wait to pour the hot water in after placing this whole thing in the oven. We'll bake our cakes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 minutes. 
When the baking is done, turn off the oven, leave the door ajar and let the cakes cook gradually for 30 minutes before removing. This step is important because it minimizes the shrinkage of your cakes. We'll let them cool for another 30 minutes to reach room temperature. With the light parchment paper, the cake should slide out easily. The traditional way to serve this cake is with some powdered sugar sprinkled on top. It's time to serve. Enjoy! Thank you for spending time with me today. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and leave your comment below. If you haven't already, please support my channel by subscribing. Bye!